Ardmore, Pennsylvania, Monday, April 28, 1997, late afternoon. Isn't it beautiful? Anne Newman gushed, cupping the tiny gold baby shoe in her palm. I can just see it on a gold chain. What grandmother wouldn't love to have something like this? She turned with anticipation to her daughter, expecting to see her familiar grin. Steph? Stephanie Rabinowitz blinked. What was that, Mom? What did you say? Oh, Steph, Anne said in mild exasperation. I was asking you what you thought about this charm. My, that is pretty, Stephanie said, leaning closer. How much is it? Apprehensively, Anne turned over the attached tag, uttering a quiet gasp when she saw the figures written precisely in stark black ink. Oh, my goodness, she sighed. Two hundred and seventy dollars. That is definitely out of my price range. Returning it politely to the clerk, she and Stephanie left the store, exiting onto Lancaster Avenue, the narrow old street that ran through the heart of downtown Ardmore. What is it? Anne asked with concern. You've hardly said two sentences all afternoon. This is a holiday, for goodness sakes. We are supposed to be enjoying ourselves. It was the last day of Passover, the time when conscientious Jews around the world commemorated their deliverance from enslavement in Egypt more than 3,200 years ago. That morning, Anne and Stephanie had decided to celebrate by not doing much of anything. Let's just wander among the shops, Stephanie suggested. Normally, both women enjoyed their excursions together. Although they lived within a twenty-minute drive of each other, neither of them had much time during the normal work week for casual mother-daughter conversation. 